I'm joined on the phone by the ex-Prime Minister of Australia, Malcolm Fraser. Um, Mr Fraser, you've just heard the Coalition's new announcement on asylum policy. Can I get your um, general thoughts initially? Um, my general thoughts, I suppose, were that um, there are no limits to which the opposition will not go to demonstrate inhumanity to people with a significantly demonstrated need. Um, inhumanity um, directed against some of the most vulnerable people of the world. Um, this is a total reversal of the values that Australia had become renowned for. And uh, it saddens me to think that the Liberal Party, and as I understand it, also the Labour Party, uh, thinking of additional ways to make their policies more brutal. Specifically on the um, uh, what's been announced today, which is essentially that um, judicial review on um, asylum claims is going to be abolished, and that anybody that is actually found to be a genuine refugee of the 30,000 people that are being um, housed in Australia at the moment, or actually offshore as well, um, uh, only being allowed to have temporary protection visas for up to three years. I mean, w what do you think of that in terms of, as a specific policy? Um, well, I, I, I believe, look, the policies have become so unreal, so inhumane overall, it's very hard to look at just one aspect which increases the uncaring um, nature of the opposition. Um, the, um, the, the terrible thing is that the opposition and the government both believe they can win votes by behaving in this way. Um, I don't really believe they can. I think these steps have uh, uh, run so far that people will be looking for alternatives to voting for either Liberal or Labour. Neither of them deserve to win. Neither of them deserve to govern. And certainly neither of them deserve to have control of both houses of parliament. Um, Mr Abbott seemed to indicate in the press conference today that he was expecting that um, the, the policy, if it was enacted, would uh, be the subject of a High Court challenge. Um, do you have any thoughts on whether that um, challenge might be successful or not? Sorry, that his policy would be subject to? To a High Court challenge. Uh, well, I hope it would. Um, I, I can't make a judgment about the law in relation to that. Uh, but one of the aspects of the policy, as I heard it, was that, uh, uh, you know, there's not going to be any appeal, but one person is going to make a judgment uh, that uh, asylum seeker X's claims are valid or they're invalid. Um, and as I heard it, that was the end of it. Mm. No appeal against that, uh, no judicial review. So the Liberal Party having demonstrated its intent, I would have thought that they'd be very careful in the people they chose to make that decision so that they would have a very large number judged to be not asylum seekers. Mm. Um, we're, we're not only breaking all the common rules of decency, we've breached our obligations under the Refugee Convention, we've breached our obligations to UNHCR, uh, any idea of duty of care to the vulnerable is totally out the window. Um, and I know from correspondence I get and people speaking to me from overseas that this has already damaged Australia's reputation and it will take decades yeah, that's to recover. Um, Michael Fraser, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Thank you.